guys, Andrea Mills here. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how we organize our games and our puzzles and things. This is in our living room and I realized when I did my living room organization video I didn't actually show you inside of the cupboards and since I was hiding up and getting things um, taken care of for our upcoming school year I thought you know I should probably show you guys how we do this. So this cupboard is in the corner of the living room above our couch and these were some unfinished cabinets that we bought at Home Depot and then we painted them and then Tom added these little side things and a shelf underneath and this is where we keep our collection of nature finds. We have our bird nests and fossils and things there and then our library books are underneath. One of the changes I made when I was working yesterday was I labeled the edges of all the cupboards with what's inside of them so that it would be easier for everybody to find what they were looking for and we would be less likely to put things away in them that don't belong in those cupboards. One of the things I wanted to do was get rid of all of the boxes or at least as many of them as we can so that we could fit a lot more into the cupboard. So I th threw away all the boxes and all the game pieces go in these little drawers. Um, I should mention that these drawers usually come in like sets, they're sterile, sterilite drawers and they come in like sets of three or five, but they can actually be pulled apart and um, you can put as many or as few in a stack as you want to. So all the um, game pieces are inside the drawers and then I labeled the drawers. This is something new I did yesterday before I just kind of had drawers with no labels and it could kind of you know we kind of like couldn't find what we were looking for which was no good so everything got labeled yesterday which makes this much more useful a few oversized pieces that wouldn't fit i um rubber banded those together in there up at the top and then i had a few boxes that just couldn't be reduced to one of the drawers so they're still right here on this side these two games are just too big to um fit in the drawers and they're too big to put in the cupboard with all the extra drawers that I put in yesterday. So they're going to go into the utility closet and then I did go ahead and label the edge here to remind us that's where they were so we won't forget that we have those games and where they are. Another new thing I did yesterday was we, we'd already been keeping our game boards here on the side but I went ahead yesterday and I put um, binder clips on the edges of each game and then I used my label maker with clear labels that had white writing. I labeled the edges of all the binder clips so that you can see um, exactly what game board you're looking for. And finally in this cupboard is this um, plastic envelope that I got at Office Depot and all the directions or like this is for the farming game that we have all that stuff is inside of here and I labeled the edge of that too so that everybody knows what those are. This is the inside of the puzzles and kind of hands-on activity cupboards and the puzzles here I think this is a Melissa and Doug puzzle rack which we already had with all the puzzles but I, um, yesterday I went ahead and labeled the edges of them because it, we would have to kind of like pull them all out to look and see which one the kids were looking for but now with this we can just grab out the one where looking for and then we have those kind of cardboard puzzles sitting up on the top and this was one of those chunky ones that has chunky pieces that wouldn't fit down inside the rack. Then these drawers have, we have our knot tying stuff here, this is a magnetic princess dress up set and the princess is up here on top and then we have marbles, these are some scrabble letter tiles I use with Solomon for writing words and our pattern blocks and then the boards that go with those are sitting up on top. And then these are puzzles that are anatomy puzzles and the boards are right here and there's a lot of small pieces and sometimes we'd accidentally spill it when we we're getting it out of the cupboard. So I just emptied the boards and put them up here and then all the puzzle pieces are right here. And for all of these drawers, if you, this is how we do it. We just pull them out and if you squeeze the sides like that, you can just pull the whole drawer out and then take it to the table and then when we're done we just put it back in its spot. Then up above we have our box of salt that we use for writing letters and things with our kindergartners and then we have an oversized puzzle and then another puzzle there that the kids like to work sometimes 
and then we have our dolls and puppets over here. So these are the little animals that are featured in the ACE curriculum for the younger kids. And then back behind we have our ACE and Christie puppets. And um, then these, this is uh, Dressy Bessie. And I can't see Dapper Dan, but he's back behind there. And these are actually toys that my brother and I had when we were little kids. And we play with them and now my kids use them. They teach, you know, snapping and tying and buttoning and all that. So we use them with our kindergartners. Our last um, place that we store games in the living room, which we play them in the living room, so that's why we store them in here, is this cupboard that's right behind our front door. And this cupboard was meant to go in a bathroom. We bought it at um, Home Depot. So it's not very wide, like six inches or so. And um, we made sure up here at the top before we hung it, this, where the trim sticks out there on the corner, that it was above the level of the window just in case I wasn't sure if you know if the door got swung open really hard or something we didn't want to break the window on the door so that's something we considered when we were hanging it up then inside um, this is where we keep all of the magic card game stuff that the boys play with and then and I play with too actually sometimes and then on the top shelf we had some of our fat games that wouldn't fit in the other cupboards. We have our dominoes, our uno robato, zombie dice, and gestures. And the cupboard only came with two um, shelves, but we just bought another little piece of wood and cut it. And I used some little, I cut some little dowels to hold it in there. Um, so that's how we were able to get more storage out of that little cupboard. So let me back up here. And then, well, I think you've probably already, maybe already seen this, but that's where we keep all of our Skylanders, right there on that little shelf underneath. So that is how we organize all of our puzzles and games, and I hope that sparks some creativity for you guys to think about ways that you can maybe reduce your um, mess of games. I know I used to have a huge mess of games, and I am so happy with this system. It makes it a lot easier to find what we want and to clean everything up and just a lot easier to deal with it all. So if you want um, more ideas on organizing a small house for a large family, I hope you'll check out the rest of my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you'll consider doing that. And um, otherwise, we'll talk to you again soon.